What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jimmy Conway here with another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at a Star Wars The Saga Collection Clone Trooper from the 442nd Siege Battalion. So this figure, I've had it for a while, but I kind of just threw it to the side, ignored it and stuff. But then one day I, I was going through some stuff and I seen, I was like, oh, this guy looks cool. I just got, you know, got like a glimpse I saw from the corner of my eye. I was like, oh man, this guy looks cool. Let's do a review on him. So I said, screw it. Let's do it. So I already took the freedom to take it out of the packaging. Um, I, you know, this is the packaging is a little bit of artwork right there in the front. I don't know what um what planet that is. Oh, I guess it's Kato Nimodia. Kato 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 Nimodia. Yeah. So there you go, man. Some figures back there. That kit fits, so I already got them. See that. I already got that kit fit, so that Darth Maul looks pretty nice. I like the face expression on him. It's kind of menacing. That holographic clone commander Cody. Yeah, I, to that. I wouldn't mind getting that droid. That clone trooper. It's fleet security. Looks pretty nice. Those battle droids look nice. Super battle droids now look nice. And that clone trooper sergeant looks pretty cool too. Saga number 60. I wouldn't mind picking up some of these figures. Not bad at all. Let's take a look at the figure. The packaging into the basura, which means garbage in Spanish. So this figure is pretty cool, man. It has a cool, clean paint scheme. Um, Accessory-wise, he does come with his antenna, his comms set. There you go. He does come with, it does come with one of these little blasters. I'm not sure which one is this. I know. This, I know. One of their weapons is called DC-15, but I don't remember the other name. I don't remember it. And he does come with his figure stand, which is pretty nice. It says Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. And the number of his unit right there. Or where he belongs. His company. So yeah, man, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, These things do come off, of course. The helmet is not removable. It's all one piece. It's on a bald hinge. So we get 360 movement, pretty cool articulation on that. 360 on the shoulder, goes up to get that much elevation, goes up that much. Man, I'm trying to get my camera focus, folks. Mm. Man, what's up with this camera today, man? He's got joint at the elbow. He's, you get a little bit of spin action right there. He's got a little spin action at the wrist. Ab crunch, backward, forward. Not that bad. His legs, not much articulation, but mine's got scratch from messing with it the other day. Single joint at the knee. Do get some spinning action right there. No, um, no ankle pivot, but you do have a joint that goes that much, that low, ah, that high. So he's a pretty cool figure all around. He's not that bad. He's, you know, it would have been nice if we would have had ball hinge um, legs, thighs, and ankle pivot and all the good stuff. But he does not have that. But you know, it's not that bad. It's all right. I'll live. He's pretty cool. So yeah, man. That's it for this video. I'll keep it short. You know, if you don't have this figure, I recommend them. He's pretty nice. You know, have him for a jungle diorama or whatnot or trying to find somebody. But yeah, nice, man. It's a nice figure. So that's it, man. You guys know what to do. Comment and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Peace. May the force be with you.